Hi guys, this is Education Hub brought to you by Team Pinnacle. Uh, we are helping the, the focus over here is international students um, and uh, not primary or high school uh, and also the education department. What can we do to make uh, help international students decide their future when they come to Australia? Um, so the problem as we saw is there are more than 200,000 international students coming each and every year in Australia and the dropout rates uh, as the data says is over 20%. Now that's a lot. Uh, and the reason we started, we started to set out on this journey, kind of trying to explore what could be the factors. Could that be the rising accommodation costs in Australia? Could that be the tuition fees, the income, uh, the graduate income, how much money they make, the net debt, uh, kind of how much debt they are in after, after they finish their education, or the employment uh, rates, uh, and, and whatnot. So, while we set it out, we kind of started with a hypothesis saying, okay, the accommodation cost could be, an, could be a factor. You can see over here, we just plotted two uh, New South Wales uh, and Victoria uh, states, that's the two most popular states in Australia, and the, the trend kind of shows upwards um, uh, trend. The New South Wales University, again, probably one of the university, and it kind of shows a declining trend. So we thought, okay, maybe there is a correlation between the two. Um, now over here we see, again, one of the top ranking universities, that's Macquarie University, it's kind of flat, so it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, uh, if there is any correlation. But in another university in Victoria this time, uh, again, the retention rates dropped significantly over 2008, 2009, but since they were a new university, they have done something to make it better and it stays flat over time. And Monash University, one of the top ranking again, doesn't have any impact uh, based on accommodation rates. So uh, the question then led, what, what, could, what, could, uh, what would have the University of Divinity done to make it better? So to explore this, we, we, when we started looking at the data, there were a lot of data from different data sets, from Department of Education, CRICOS, etc. And uh, we wanted to mash up like the ATO data set and all the other data set, and it was really, really time consuming. So uh, only two days just got us enough to test one of our hypotheses, but we have built this whole platform so that we can keep going. Uh, we use uh, hosted on uh, Docker, uh, sorry, we host on Azure uh, uh, using Docker images and use NIME to kind of uh, do, the, do the whole uh, data processing. So the end product we have got is not just uh, the data set, but also an API and a dashboard, which you can play with and you can kind of explore and keep going and get to the bottom of the answer uh, is, is, is where we want, to, we want to go next. So explore the factors and enable app that can provide uh, this, this whole data set for students that can help, help them make decision, better decisions when they come to Australia. Thank you.